Do you care where your people work anymore? Not as not as much. I'm not sure I ever cared. You know, we 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 always spent a lot of time out of the office. I'd walk the offices and bankers in their office were kind of um, that's not where you do your work anyway. Um, so I'm, I think I'll be much more uh, forgiving about where people live, you might say. Um, and I, I think we're going to be much more flexible, not forgiving, flexible about where people live. And um, but I do want to have an office and I want to have uh, we will have an office and we will have a central point because there is one of the things that we did do was develop a, a great culture before the pandemic hit. And so when we all went to Zoom, we knew each other. We knew who we were and we knew what we wanted to do. Uh, I, I, I don't think that lasts 10 years. I think you want to have a central point where you, uh, where, you, where you glue that down, and especially your young people who just come in. How are they going to understand your culture uh, without physically feeling it? So I, I, would, I am going to have an, we are going to have an office and we are going to try to make it a central point. Where will that office be? Your headquarters are in New York City. You have a big office in Los Angeles. Is that going to change? New York City, as I said, will always be New York City. So I think it'll be our center. Um, will we think about moving to uh, environments that are more tax friendly and where our executives want to work from? Yes, we will think about that. We've made no decisions, but I think it'll be demand driven. I think our executives will want to work in places that are uh, lower tax rate, uh, corporate friendly, uh, and maybe warm. So if one of your bankers were to say, Ken, I want to move to and work in Palm Beach, that's OK? Well, I've had more than one say it, Eric, so it better be OK. And, um, and yes, the answer, I mean, I'm making a joke of it because I think I've had 20 say it. And the answer is we're, we, we are a talent business. I, I have to, and, and I want, and I want to attract, I want to motivate, and I want to retain the greatest talent in the world. And if that talent wants to do it in, uh, in Florida, that's where we'll support them. Now, is that likely, if you're going to open up a new location, will it be Florida? Lots of people are going to Florida. You know them better than I do. They've also gone to Texas. They're thinking about Arizona, Nevada. What appeals to you? I'm going to, I'm actually going to facilitate where the people want, uh, you know, it's funny, the Northeast sort of likes Florida. Um, California has chosen Texas, it seems as its destination, but we, we have so many more people. New York is where, uh, you know, there's, there's eight to 10 times more people that we ha we play in New York. It just seems like New York has a destination, New York and Chicago, by the way, uh, tend to look to uh, Florida. Look, Texas is fine. We have a we have an office in Dallas because we had a, a very smart employee who told us told me I think three to five years ago, you know I love you but I love uh, zero taxation better and Dallas has a great airport and why not move there? So we already have a satellite in Dallas. So I, I wouldn't say we're against that either.